Last week, uh, Sunday, I came out here and uh, I posted a video on uh, post honey flow swarms. Uh, and uh, this was one of the hives that I highlighted that uh, had a, could have a potential for swarming. We went in it, found swarm cells, pulled them out. Uh, I split half the hive out, gave it to a couple other hives to relieve a bit of pressure from it. And uh, had, had a, a friend ask, you know, what, what are my plans for? Am I going to go back and check for swarm cells? Uh, later on or what what's the plan for it and um, you know I said yeah I was gonna go back and uh, look for swarm cells and I have to give it some apivar strips because this was a honey uh, producing uh, hive and and it didn't have any mite treatment on it so I had to give it some uh, some apivar strips uh, I was planning on doing this all on Wednesday but we've had uh, just uh, just an unbelievable amount of rain over the last week. Uh, actually, in the last two days, we've had five and a half inches of rain. And uh, uh, probably over the last week, we've probably in the realm of 10 inches of rain. Uh, so I didn't get a chance to get out here and look at this hive like I really, really wanted to. But uh, today I got the ape of our strips. Uh, this is the hive we were, we were discussing. Um, so I'm going to go in it, uh, give it a little smoke, uh, check it out just a, just a little bit and see how they're uh, producing. I had given it, I think, four frames of, um, of comb and uh, I'm going to see if the queen was, you know, moved into that comb or what. Uh, bees are really active today. Uh, they must be hitting the goldenrod really, really hard uh, because it's like I said, everything was washed off. I mean, it poured, poured, poured for the last week. Uh, so the, today's the first day they've, they've actually gotten out. They are really, really, really active today. So need to get in here, take a look at what's going on. Hopefully they're not too ornery. And, um, you know, let's go take a look. Well, let's see what's going on here. bees in here. Well, they didn't swarm. Yes, that's a good thing. Man, these hive beetles, I just tell you. So this is the, this was the uh, frame that they queen was on it was full of brood but the queen was on it and then I put frames of uh, comb in and I just want to see what the bees have done with it actually let's just move this out of the way a little bit there we go get this frame feeder to move a little bit that to move out of the way got weight to it which means they're putting away nectar in it and that's a good sign real good sign actually so let's see what they're doing yep they've got it all full of nectar really hard for me to see here Yeah, I see goldenrod pollen all over these bees. You can actually see the bees with the goldenrod pollen on them. What I really want to do is take a look and see. If there's any eggs. 
-hmm. We don't have any sun today out. So it's really hard to see. Mm -hmm. see any they've left room for her to lay but there's no uh, no eggs in there nope no eggs in there either boy lots of nectar though holy smoke they bring it in That's all full of eggs. Every cell is full of eggs. Every single cell is full of eggs. No larvae in there, but every single cell is full of eggs. So she, I wouldn't doubt, but she might be on this frame. Yep, all eggs in this one too, on this side. Hard. Sorry, I stood up, probably out of camera shot there, but. So this one's all full of eggs. Yep, no indication that they're gonna be Warming here. Just a nice big healthy colony. Really odd this hasn't had any mite treatment since. What, May? April, May? This one's got a little weight to it. Oh, this one's, yeah, this is one of the existing. Yeah, this one's all full of larvae. No swarm cells whatsoever on this, so I broke them of their, of their swarming impulse, it looks like to me. Lots and lots of larvae, no swarm cells whatsoever. Cap root and larvae. And what's on this side? Just emerged cap just emerged cap brood. Any eggs? Yep, eggs. Good. I like it. Happy to see it what I want to see. Developing that nice winter nest. Bringing in nectar. They got pollen coming in. Maybe one more. One more and we'll uh, call it good. In the springtime, just re relieving pressure isn't enough for a for a swarm. Once they get that impulse, it's really hard to get it out of them. You got to actually move the queen. But in the fall, just being there and taking care of the situation sometimes can help. But yeah, that's all capped, fully capped. <laughs> Still a lot of drones in there, man. Lots and lots of drones, wow. That's all capped. 
lots and lots of pollen in there. Yeah, they're bringing in uh, lots and lots of golden. Okay, that's enough. That's all I need to see. Nice, healthy colony there. Good. Didn't see the queen. Saw evidence of her. So we're good there. So I got some April bar strips here. I keep them in this uh, resealable bags. Um, just makes it easy once you, you use a few and you can seal it back up and you know put it in the freezer or wherever you want it. I just keep it in a cool closet. So rather than use these little things, I just put a stick in. I just put the stick right through the hole and then hang the frame from it. Right in the middle of the brood nest. So that's it. This colony is good to go. Exactly what I wanted to see. A nice big healthy colony going into winter. I'm going to be feeding them here 2 to 1 sugar water. Probably 1.5 to 1 just because 2 to 1 doesn't dissolve very easily for me. But, uh, but yeah, going to be pouring the feed to them here pretty shortly. Uh, probably next week I'll start really heavily feeding them. But right now they have a good, good, good start. Okay, I had another colony over here that last time wasn't swarming on me. It's still very, very populated. You can kind of see it. Whoop. This is one we checked, didn't have any swarm cells in it. But I do have to give it some uh, paper bar strips. Holy crap. The bees had all the hive beetles cornered in one little corner. And I just want to take a quick peek and make sure that, you know, hey, Maybe they're not, maybe they did start swarm cells, swarm prep after the fact here. You never know. No swarm cells that I see. They're starting to backfill all the frames here. That's not good that I don't see brood here. Right in the center. No cat brood or anything. Okay. I don't like to see that.
Lots of open cells. No eggs. Boy, I hope I didn't lose the queen here. Well, okay. I am going to, uh, all right. Well, that's all, Cap. And there's larvae around the edges. And that's completely capped. No swarm cells. Good. I'm going to uh, go over here because I actually gave them a couple of frames here. I don't remember. Three frames, I think. Maybe four. Can't remember. I did take some pressure off this hive. This one's full of nectar. This one was a brand new frame I gave them. No eggs, no nothing. That's a little disheartening. I'd like to find eggs somewhere. All nectar. No wax building. Let's take a look. I got eggs in this one. No swarm cells. I bet you they shut down for a little bit there for all that rain. I need to step over here for a bit.
Not a lot of eggs, that's for sure. Jesus. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's all full of larvae. I should have flipped it over long, long ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're good. Nice, healthy colony. Okay. Good, good, good. 